Today we're going to talk about applying textures. So hi guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Manny, you can find me on our Facebook page at Retard Pro. Now as well guys, in this episode I want to talk about textures. Applying textures to your images shouldn't be too hard. So in this episode I'm going to show you guys an in-depth talk about how applying textures super easily to your images. Okay, so as you guys can see I'm already here in Photoshop. I've already played a little bit with textures. As you guys can see I've used one texture for the background and one for the suit here, kind of the scratches and some stones. So this is actually the before. Let's start like that as well. So I've went into our Pro Texture page on the Retard Pro website and I found these two textures here in stone and concrete texture package which you guys can also get there. So it's very simple, it's just a JPEG image with obviously some texture. So it might be stones, it might be a background, anything that looks kind of interesting for texture. So today we're going to use both of these images here, import them and kind of create this. And I'm going to show you guys a few tips and tricks, how I work with them and how yeah you can change it a little bit so it looks a bit nicer. So let's start right away. First of all, this image is vertical and shot vertically and these are horizontally. So I want to change them first of all around. I've already opened and also changed the names here, just texture one, so unlock those layers. So basically I'm going to go to edit, transform and say here rotate either 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'm just going to say 90 degrees clockwise for the start. Oh, and this was just the image, so basically just the layer. I didn't want to do that. Let's do go step back. I'm just going to go here in history back. What you need to do is go to image, not edit and transform. You have to go to image and then over here, image rotation, we're going to go 90 degrees clockwise. All right, so the whole canvas has been rotated. Now we're going to do exactly the same effect here on this one, on the second texture. Zooming out a little bit, back to image, image rotation, rotating that first of all. Alright, so pretty happy with that. I've rotated both. Then as well what I'm going to do now is just move them a little bit over here, the canvases. And first of all going to move in texture number two over here. Just hold shift and drag the layer physically from here into the second canvas. So hold shift so they clip directly to the borders as you guys can see. Nice, now we can go back to this texture. Just close it, I don't need it anymore. The same with texture one. Hold shift, move it over, that clips again. Great. Select the other canvas here. Escape. I don't need that. F for full screen mode. So we work nice and constructive. We're not distracted by the background here. Great. So we've got texture one and texture two here. I'm going to move them actually a little bit down because I want those other layers to be affecting on top. And I don't want to work too much with these now at the moment. So what I'm going to do is first of all here just work with texture layer number one. So basically want to add texture layer two to the background. So before I do that, I have to say I've shot this on a gray background, so it's a little bit easier for gray backgrounds. If you have a different color, black, it's a bit trickier. White also works pretty much easy, but if you have a solid 50% gray, growing with a nice gradient to dark, it works always really great if you just switch the blending option. So simply on texture one, I'm going to go here to the blending options and change that to soft light. And directly you guys can see how cool this is being applied just to the background here. And everywhere where we have gray, the tones are pretty even. And with soft light, the texture just aligns really nicely onto the back. So it works very, very nice. Now as well, you guys can obviously see it also goes over the suit of the person here. So you need to do another version where you cut out the complete person, which I've done already here under merging subject. So again, there I've got my subject on top, as you guys can see. If you guys want to learn more about this technique as well, we have a tutorial called Advanced Masking, where you guys can learn exactly this step. Now, what I wanted to do is obviously add a little bit of spill and a little bit of light behind them because just adding the texture doesn't really give me the realness and doesn't really look good. So again, I just made again a few adjustments here. We also have a few tutorials on those. Just have a look on the free tutorial. So what I'm going to do is here fix the light and I just fix the light a little bit in the back. Obviously just made like a little bit of a vignetting effect around him and in the center brightened up the center a little bit again. Okay, so that's already adding just texture number one in there. Now, if I want to tweak this texture a little bit, I obviously have a few options. I can first of all go back here to opacity, change my opacity here to either make it a little bit more visible, less visible, stronger. Yeah, so I'm going to leave it actually at 100% for the moment because I think it looks really nice. 
So that's for the start. Also, if I want to now bring out more contrast, enhance it a little bit, what I can do is basically just go to adjustments here to the top, create another curves and levels adjustment layer here, just hold alt actually so that it added clips and it didn't. Literally hold alt, go between the two layers, the little arrow will appear and you can just clip that again to this layer. All right, so as well as you guys can see now we've got the curves just clipped here to that layer. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we have a bit more space. And now I can still tweak the background a little bit just with this curve here. So obviously I wanna make it a little bit darker. I wanna bright the highlights a little bit. So giving that just a bit of contrast again. I've also showed another tutorial where I'm preparing actually a texture. So where I'm working with again here, shadow and highlights to also get more contrast if you wanna have a look at that tutorial. Sure, so all right. Just adding a bit of contrast, enhancing here this first texture layer. I can hold Command and press Command G and maybe just write here again Texture 1 so he doesn't get confused here. Great, all right, so that's already Texture 1 just for adding it to the background. So obviously you can play a lot with this layer. You create whatever you want to do. If you want to darken it, if you want to saturate it, if you want to change colors, use those adjustment layers here from the top and then obviously again your opacity. But now, you want to add the second now to obviously just the suit. So in here, merging the subject, I've already merged out the subject and referenced also to the tutorial you guys can watch. What I'm going to do is literally just drag it on top here, right on top, merging subject. So now I'm going to switch it on. It's obviously going to be super hard. Next step that I want to do is say here, switch that to soft light again. So it's slowly bleeding through. So again, as you guys can see, the texture bleeds really nicely through. If your um, underground, so basically the background is already very dark, as you guys can see here on the skin, as well on the background and on the suit, all the dark parts, we basically with the light parts, they're shining through really nicely. So the scratches and the texture comes through really nicely. On some bright areas we here, you can obviously see there is texture, but it doesn't look as nice as it actually does here just with the background with the black. So again, what I'm going to do now is create a mask, but I don't want to brush the whole mask out again. What I firstly can do is just press Command G, create a new group, rename this to Texture 2 maybe, okay, and we have our Texture 2 layer in there. Now what I'm going to do is just minimize it, hold Alt on this mask, so basically meaning from, again, the subject here, and drag that over to this Texture layer. So again, what happened now, we've just copied actually this mask here from Merging Subject right to our texture layer and it's now just on the texture. Now I can just go in and really easy paint out here the subject as well. So on this mask, I'm going to press B for the brush, clean up the subject a little bit, black foreground color again. I'm also working with the Vacuum Continuous 5 Pro tablet. So it's easy for me to just change my brush size via my wheel. If you don't have that, press Ctrl all together, move left and right and change your brush size like that. Or you go up and down and also change the hardness here. I'm going to change my hardness to like say a 50%. Okay, make it a bit smaller. 100% opacity from the top here please. Black foreground color. And I'm literally just going to brush out very quickly the subject here. Okay, and also going to do a little bit rougher down here. We're going to clean that up in a minute. Okay, like so, the shirt, we want to have no, nothing on the shirt. I basically just want to have the texture on the outside of the suit. Okay, a little bit more. Also on the hands, obviously he wouldn't have anything on his hands. Okay, a little bit more, and here, and maybe the tie as well. We're not going to add anything onto the tie. Okay, so I've done this super quickly, rough now as well. Now, also in the inside of the suit, we don't want that. I'm painting a little bit more away. Now I'm going to zoom in closely. B for the brush again, switch foreground colors as well. And with white foreground color, we're literally going to just brush in where we want the texture again. So again, like that, texture over here. Very quickly brushing in the texture. Okay, we don't want texture in the inside of the suit. On the outside, we want it. Yes, okay, not in here. We can actually switch again foreground colors, just brush this a little bit away. Great, okay, let's go over here. Also there we can still add texture. And down here we want to get rid of that. So again, erasing this from the inside. Also over here. Great, so again, cleaning just this a little bit. X, switch foreground colors, I'm brushing over here. Also in here for the suit again. 
Great, so we've got the texture now really nicely aligned on the suit. Now for the next step, what I want to do is obviously make this texture come out a little bit more. So again, that's why I created directly a new group over here. So which we can do now is open this group and go to this texture layer again. So first of all, the mask is just affecting the suit and the subject and the texture we have on our own. So again, going back to adjustments here at the top, literally hit the adjustment layer to be sure we can also clip it directly just to our texture layer. So hold Alt, go between the layers, clip that again, and now we can tweak this texture individually again. So basically, let's also try to make it a little bit brighter, first of all. So we're going to enhance just the contrast a little bit of the whites and also take it a little bit down so we have nice contrast on there. Okay, something like that. You can obviously take a little bit further with another curves level adjustment layer. You can add another contrast, another color saturation if you want. Also fill color just on soft color blending options. But that's getting more in technical terms again. What I wanted to just show you guys is how to easily work with these textures. So again, you can apply these textures now like this. Again, you have it on a solid texture 2 layer. Then obviously I added a bit of color grading and this is the final result. And it really looks a little bit different here from my previous version. I actually like the second version a bit more. And as well, I can see he also has some textures still in his face here. Very simple, again, go to the mask, B for the brush. Okay, switch foreground colors and just clean it up again. A little bit over here, great. So it's all out. Yeah, and that's how I work with my textures. And now what I really love as well with the textures is that I can still control them individually. So if I want to say I want not so much uh, texture too, I can just take the opacity down, take it up a little bit, add more contrast because it's separate again. Or if I say I want to add the texture two layer at the bottom here, maybe make it a double effect, or not even double, say opacity down again, change the opacity once again. Or maybe even if we're going to take it completely madness now, press Command J, and also, yeah, first of all, duplicate it either on the suit directly or take it all the way down here to this texture area. Clip that obviously to the background here, the texture too. And as well, make it duplicate so it gets even stronger for the background so you can go crazy. And yeah, there's so much, there's endless techniques you can use with textures. But obviously, this is taking a little bit too far now, as you guys can see with the double background now and the suit. That's just too much. So what I'm going to do is just delete those two layers here again, clip again the texture one. Let's make a little bit of space here so we can see the file. Yeah, okay, so that's basically all about applying textures. Shouldn't be too hard. Just literally a few blending options here and there with masks, etc. It's literally not that hard. Now as well guys, check out our library called Pro Texture. We've got tons of awesome high quality textures listed for you there. Especially they are also royalty free, so you can use them for your practice, personal work and commercial work. Go ahead and use them as anything you want. Now as well guys, if you liked the episode, don't forget to thumbs up. If you have any questions, post them down below. I'm happy to interact with you guys. Yeah, and hope to see you in some of our Pro Texture library on the next episode. Thanks guys, bye bye.